Hey everyone, Skull902 here, and about a year ago I looked at the Samson Q2U, a mic I got for Christmas the previous year. Then last year for Christmas I got the Samson Meteor for reasons I shall explain later, and now that I've used it enough, which you can hear in my voice acting playlist if you know which video to watch, I can give you a review of it. So let's do that. Right now! As it stands, I am using the Q2U to record this bit, but we'll do a comparison later. The Meteor comes in four styles. Chrome, Brushed Nickel, which is the model I have, Titanium Black, and Titanium Red, which is mostly black and doesn't look that good in my opinion. Something about a lot of these more notable mics you see on the market is that they don't really get a lot of variation in colors until you get to around the $100 range. Trust me, if there had been a Chrome Blue Meteor, I would have immediately picked that one out. Watch Samson do that now that I've said it. But anyway, what comes with the mic? Well, since the mic and the stand are one and the same, you just get a USB cable with it. So yeah. Here are the mic specifications because I pronounced that word incorrectly in the Q2U video. The mic has the standard mute button, of course, and a volume control dial for monitoring with headphones from its 3.5 audio output. This mic comes in a small package, but like the Q2U, it's hefty for its size and I suspect would not break easy. The flaps on the mic that act as a stand work just as you'd hope. It's a little surprising how much resistance they have at first when you open them, but it's so that the mic stands up better. There's also rubber feet on the pedals for that purpose. The USB connection is easy to use and fits quite well. Not too tight, not too loose. Now the reason I got this thing was actually alluded to in my Q2U review. Space. The Q2U is nice, but takes up some space on my smaller than ideal desk which prevents me from using my headphones while I'm recording with it. With the Meteor, that's absolutely no problem, and I can now go full gear into projects like music or podcasts where that kind of thing would be necessary. I am using a specially designed pop filter for this mic which does cut off a bit of the visibility to my screen, but that's not the mic's fault and it isn't a big deal either. I think the microphone sounds pretty good. Still got that high quality warmness the Q2U has, but it does sound different and I'll get into that after this here comparison. Have a listen. This is a sample of the LabTech AM242 microphone. This is a sample of the built-in microphone from a Samsung Galaxy S4. This is a sample of the Logitech H570E headset microphone. And this is my voice coming through on the Samson Meteor, which I'll be using to record the rest of this video. Again, we've got a warm but somewhat different sound than the Q2U. I do notice more reverb coming through on the Meteor than the Q2U, but in my opinion, the difference is minimal. The default sound is louder than the Q2U, so I didn't mess with the gain settings in Windows, and I don't have to raise it as much in Audacity. The background hiss is more noticeable when boosted than the Q2U, but in the case of both mics, the problem is resolved easily with noise removal. In conclusion, the Samson Meteor is a great sounding USB mic with fantastic build quality. Is it worth the money though? This thing usually goes for around 50 to 60 US dollars, which puts it in the same range as the Q2U and... It's really tough to say, because the Q2U has more connectivity options, and you don't have to spend the extra money on protection from plosives if you don't want to since it comes with a windscreen. If you have your ideal setup and a Q2U, I'd say don't go for it. But for my specific purposes, the Meteor's smaller size really is a lifesaver and since I can use it with my headphones, I can use it for more things than the Q2U. So, due to the slight increase of reverb, I think I'll be reserving the Q2U for more proper voiceover work like reviews and acting, and then use the Meteor for podcasts and music as I've previously mentioned, as well as Let's Plays where the extra echo really doesn't matter. That does it for this review of the Samson Meteor microphone. Hope it was helpful to you. I've been Skull902, thank you for watching, and have yourselves a wonderful day.